This is the first day out at the flea market and I'm concerned. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. We got here at 8 o'clock this morning. $12 one, $12 one, 16 inches. People tell me, friends of mine that have worn this, say it helps them with their aches and pains. And Primarily what I'm feeling, right off the bat, huge, vast, vast strength. Tremendous in core strength. Came into this world very strong. You, you probably opened your eyes and screamed. <laughs> Hello world, here I am. I've got you back in the Knights of the Round Table. That's where you are. <clears throat> and you're on a horse. And you have a long, a long like wood with a point at the end of it. And you're in a joust. You're in a joust, what I just saw. And this explains your strength. Yes, you were with the King Arthur's group. And you were on a horse. And he was gray with black spots on him. And he had a black mane. And you were jousting with one of those long, whatever they call them. Mm -hmm. It's day two. Saturday on the first weekend that we've come here and we still haven't had a DVD customer. However, what we did accomplish was that we sold one magnetic health bracelet that helped a young person with their soreness and depression and arthritis. Secondly, we went out and we bought some t-shirts. And I walked around the flea market several times and uh, was able to record the Thunder Mountain Railroad band out near the food court. And Scott McPhee, our producer, did a tremendous job of editing it. And then we also took some pictures of some abandoned beer trucks. Even though we haven't had our first uh, memoir recorded DVD, we're on the right track. So I look forward to tomorrow. And I bought this hat for John for Christmas. Thank you. Bye. Scott sold two of these and discounted his price. That's the third sale he's had in three days. I'm in a funk. Continue to be very concerned.
the end of the, it's the first day of the second weekend or our fourth day. And I don't know how to say this, but we still haven't done a uh, video memoir. Uh, Scott has a lot of his jewelry now encroaching into my area of the booth. And to some degree, to my delight, he did not sell a piece of jewelry today. However, we did do, uh, we, we made some continual progress. We interviewed Valentine Prado, who does the uh, micro, micro, micro fabric uh, rags in the center of the aisle, and I thought he gave a very good interview. All right. You Valentine. Hey, how you doing, my friend? My name is John. I'm Valentine. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, John. We're continuing to be mildly optimistic, although we heard today from a vendor who's been here for 19 years, it's the worst year since the beginning of the flea market. So maybe it's a sign of the economy. But we're we're going to try and do what we can do. I'm getting too verbal. Thank you. Day five, second weekends. It's Saturday of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, we've yet to have a DVD memoir, and Scott, to my knowledge, went scoreless on the on the jewelry today. However, we did go. Uh, we did go do a DVD on Moon Mullins, who's a national award-winning guitar player, and he allowed us to uh, do a DVD on him, and uh, he's accompanied by Don White. And so anyway, that was very interesting. And we've heard ongoing stories about how the flea market is affected by big box stores and the economy. So we're we're not going to give up, and tomorrow's a new day. And, how, and just as a side note, we did have somebody inquire about uh, a video memoir, and that's that's sort of a milestone for us. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, John. Hi, Peggy. You said you said you wanted to do the Old West, right? Yeah, that's okay. what I got. In. Well, we got two choices. We've got the rough and ready John Wayne, or we've got the city slicker gambler dude. Originally Baltimore. Let's go ahead and take your shirt tail in. Okay. Your pants will be fine. We'll need to lose those tennis shoes, however. Okay. They're a little bit too modern. Okay. So I just Let's take them off? Just slip them off. What size shoe do you wear? Uh, nine. Okay. You need picture, okay? Oh, cowboy boots. Okay. Of course, cowboy boots. I'm going to get you a good enough. What size waist? Okay, got my yep. gun. Got your gun. Gun, got my... Yep. Oh. Tie, it, tie it down or you wouldn't be able to okay, do a quick draw. Right. And I'm a gambler? Well, Is, they, it, you still had to protect yourself, didn't you? Okay, all yeah. right. It, you don't think that <laughs> all, all of them were honest people that you played against, do you? Oh. That's good. Now don't look at me. Oh, did he put it on? Yeah, he did. Pick the gun up and point it that way. All right, well, let We're going we're gonna to wrap it up here at the flea market for now, but we're not giving up. We're planning on uh, another gig here in February, and uh, we'll talk to you then. So we appreciate your uh, strong interest in following our uh, saga. Thank you.